Hey, welcome back to our channel where we're all about making your Google Analytics data easier to see, use, and understand on your WordPress site so you can improve your web strategy. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to track Add to Cart events with Google Analytics on your WordPress site. So if you're looking to improve your e-commerce business, tracking Add to Cart events is a great place to start. Be sure to check out the link in the description to a post that provides you with all the details that you're going to need. All right, so let's get started. Now you can track your Add to Cart events in Google Analytics in a number of ways, but the easiest way is with the Monster Insights plugin. It automatically sets up tracking with just a click. So let's get started. The first step you'll need to take is to install and activate the Monster Insights Pro plugin on your site. It has great e-commerce tracking features along with lots of other advanced tracking options as well. Once you're signed up for Monster Insights, download the plugin zip file to your computer. And then log into your WordPress site and click on Plugins. And then click on Add New. Now click on the Upload Plugin button at the top of the page and choose the file or just drag and drop it here. Then click Install Now and activate the plugin. Now you need to connect Google Analytics to your site. It's easy, just follow the steps in the Setup Wizard and the plugin will automatically add Google Analytics to your site without any coding. If you need more details, be sure to check out the link in the description to our guide on adding Google Analytics to your WordPress site. Now let's install the Monster Insights e-commerce add-on. It will automatically detect your e-commerce store and start tracking its performance in Google Analytics. First, log into your WordPress site and then go to Insights. And then go to Add-ons. Now just find the e-commerce add-on and click Install. You'll notice that the plugin has automatically activated. Okay, now to see your Add to Cart data, just go to Insights, and then go to Reports, and then go to E-Commerce. Now the E-Commerce report gives you lots of information. For an example, you've got your conversion rate, the number of transactions, the revenue that you've generated, your average order value. Just below that, you have the top product section, with the product name, the quantity of products, the percentage of sales, total revenue, and going down further, you have your top conversion sources, total users, percentage of users, and revenue that you've generated. Then just below that, you have your total add to cart, total remove from cart, new customers, and abandoned checkouts. This gives you a really good picture of what's going on with your e-commerce store on your WordPress site. Now we'll see how to view your Add to Cart events in Google Analytics and create a custom report in Analytics using the Add to Cart event to see how your sales funnel is working. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add events for Add to Cart, Begin Checkout, and Purchase. So just follow along and I'll show you exactly how to do that. First, just log into your Analytics account and then go to Explore. And then from there, just click the plus. Now, over here, you'll want to create a name for your exploration. We're going to call our sales funnel. And then under technique, we're going to do funnel exploration. Now under steps, click the pencil icon. We'll title this first step here, add to cart. And under new condition, we'll just go to events and add to cart. Now we're going to add the next step. We'll call this step, step two, we're going to call this begin checkout. Under the new condition, we'll go to events and go to checkout. Begin checkout. And then we'll add the third step and we will call this step purchase. Add the condition under events, purchase. Perfect. All right, now we'll just click apply. And now on this screen, we can see our steps, the percentage of users, the completion rate, the abandonments, and the abandonment rate. 
This really helps you to understand how your funnel is working a whole lot better. And that's it. Now you know how to track Add to Cart events with Google Analytics. Now we hope you found this tutorial helpful. Be sure to subscribe to get more useful content like this. We'll see you next time. See your Google Analytics data in WordPress with Monster Insights. Get 50% off right now and subscribe for more helpful content like this.